Sure. Right here, here with Bill Farish at Lane's End Farm uh, after a relatively long walk but a beautiful afternoon. Bill, you had a bunch of the staff from Lane's End out in Midway Road waiting for us, which was a complete surprise to us. We got that. That was a lot of fun. I appreciate that. Well, I, you know, it really was their idea. They wanted to, they wanted to cheer you guys on and walk with you a little bit. So, well, I'm glad it worked out. It was nice then, and it's great for Lane's End the second year in Rhodes to help Breeders Cup a bus for the three charities uh, with Breeders Cup charities, Permanent Disabled Jockeys Fund, the V Foundation, and Thurber Charities of America. So thanks. To you and everybody here at Lane's End, we appreciate it. Thanks for what you guys are doing. Now, you're chairman of the Breeders' Cup, mm -hmm. but you also have a little rooting interest. We do have a rooting interest. Uh, Especially in the Classic. Uh, that's right. Quality Road uh, is, is coming here after after the race, and we're, we're hoping he'll run a big race. How much of an impact will what happens Breeders' Cup Day have on, you know, how, I mean, Realistically, as a, as a coming stallion, what does the win of the Breeders' Cup Classic mean? You've got AP into here, you've got Curlin here. Well, it, it means a lot, but Quality Road has done so much already. I mean, he's set three track records from six and a half furlongs to a mile and an eighth, and he's shown his brilliance. And, and uh, so I think as a sire prospect, you know, obviously winning or losing one race isn't going to determine whether he's a good sire or not. So we're very excited about him coming, and we hope he runs well. And, I, you know, it's probably one of the best classic fields in a while, so it'll be fun, fun to see what happens. On a, on a completely different subject, you're really involved in the, in the uh, legislative activities through Kentucky Equine Education Project, trying to level the playing field here in Kentucky, mm -hmm. the states like Indiana, uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. You know, we've heard of a lot of horses leaving the state for these other states that are increasing purses, increasing the breeding programs. What is it going to take for the legislature here to understand that Kentucky is losing jobs, it's losing horses, and it's losing really part of its signature industry? Yeah, I think they understand that now, but but there's still, uh, you know, the right wing of the Republican Party is still has a very strong hold on a lot of the legislators, and they're worried that a vote against uh, a vote for casino gaming uh, will will upset their the right of the of the party, so they're they're still you know they're led by uh, by a speaker uh, that that really uh, the president of the Senate David Williams who, who who is clearly beholden to the right wing of the party, and uh, despite the fact that he likes to go to casinos um, himself, uh, won't vote for it. So uh, a lot of a lot of the way the state government works is he's a very powerful guy. And, and they, they don't want to buck him. You know, in the national scene, everybody's talking about jobs, jobs, jobs is the big issue. And isn't that really what the horse industry is here in Kentucky in a, in a big way? I mean, oh, absolutely. I, I, you know, some estimates have been 100,000 jobs uh, are directly or indirectly uh, related to the horse industry in this state. It's, it's a huge you know, $4 billion industry to this state. But uh, if we were, if this industry was, was any other industry, was an auto industry, auto plant, or, or anything else, that, that legislators would be bending over backwards to help us. But they, they take us for granted, they always have, and, um, you know, unfortunately, they're, they're watching it dwindle. Yeah. Well, Bill, thanks. Our job for the next week is to raise awareness and raise money for Breeders' Cup Charities. Uh, we really thank you and the whole crew here at Lane's End. It, it made today all, you know, just really a lot of fun when we, sh when we got over that hill and we saw the whole crew out there at the gate. Uh, thanks again. Well, we appreciate not at all. Great, Great to see you. Thanks.